So the question is, and well, if I ask you how much is between here and here, there's no table that will give you that answer directly because there are too many combinations of 120s and 130s and 10s. Each, each example could have a different combination of numbers. But here, there's only one Z table. So if you go to the back of the book and you look up 1.10, you're going to find the area between, well, we'll see what it gives you. But it gives you the area, essentially, after doing one small manipulation. So at this point, what we have to do, and I'm not sure if anybody has it, if you have the book, nobody has it. It's embarrassing if I don't have it either. Uh, and we have to go to the Z table. Anybody have the book with them? Or the first no, one? Good, thank you. Do you have the tables with you, with the Z tables? So the Z table, um, to repeat uh, for the per uh, benefit of the camera or posterity, uh, we're looking for the, it gives you the area under the curve, under the curve, the bell-shaped curve, starting with any particular Z number and going all the way to the left. It's called cumulative probabilities. And in this case, we want the area below 1.10. So you're going to go down to 0. The area below 0 is 50%. Remember, if it's exactly in the middle, it's 50%. And as you get up to, let's say, go up to 1.0. 1.0, well, let's go to 1.1. So 1.1 is right over here, and the next, all these different columns represent the second decimal place of accuracy. So 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 
So how do you get the exact answer? Well, we convert it to a Z diagram by a very simple little formula. But I like to do this graphically and visually, because if you can see something, it's much easier to get it right than just having to do it in your head. So we're going to go to another unit of measurement called the Z units, or the standard deviation units. And the question is, what does 109.3 correspond to? We've got to be somewhere in a similar part of the picture. That's why it works. So you're shifting everybody over together, nobody loses their percentage or the percentile. So everybody, we squeeze them together, nobody sort of, nobody shifts around. So we're not really messing up the pr probabilities by making these little, by using this formula. So the formula, which is again, z equals x minus mu over sigma, now we're doing 109.3 minus 110 divided by 10, comes out to, ooh, what does it come out to? Wait, isn't it 120? Isn't what? Isn't 120? I'm sorry, I'm right, you're right, thank you. This should be minus 120, because the average is 120. So how much is 11.7 uh, over 10? 1.07? Negative, it's got to be negative. No, 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 I better not do this in my head. What, what's the answer? Negative 1.07. Okay, so the answer after all is said and done is negative. 1.07. So negative 1 is over here. Negative 1.07 is even a little more negative, so it goes in a little smidgen to the left, so it's going to be roughly around here. So if I had to shade it in physically, and again, if you know that this piece here is 34% making this other picture, and again, it's, well, it takes about three seconds, and it's worth double checking and you know, checking yourself. It comes out to, again, my, my guess, and probably Laura's guess, and hopefully anybody else who's doing this, should be about 15%. Common sense should predict about 15%. Now the next step is to go to the z-table, but this time we're going to the negative z-table. We're going to go down to negative 1.0, which is right here, negative 1.0. Negative 1.00 is 1587. Negative 1.01, negative 1.02, negative 1.03, negative 1.04, negative 1.05, negative 1.06, negative 1.07. I'm looking at 1423. Anybody else have anybody 1.07? Okay, after all is said and done, and Tiffany, you can have it back, thank you. You can check it out yourself. Should be, what did they just say, 1473? Just did I say 1473? So the area to the left of the Z table is literally 1473. And that means Laura's guess, well, she said 16%. My guess is 15% was a little bit better because that rounds out to 15%. So I guess it's around what I say it was, but it was about 15%. So, so now, do you, the final answer of 1473, do you have to subtract 50 from it or add 50 or subtract it from 100 or anything like that? Or you, the answer is 1473. Well, based on our picture, based on our initial guess of 15 or 16%, and you got 1473, you say, you better stop right here. This is the answer. If you don't make a picture, you can very easily say, I gotta subtract 50, or sometimes you add 50, sometimes you subtract 100 or add 100, but that you know, depends on the example and the region you look for. That's why making a picture will avoid that kind of a mistake. 